Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And we know that uh, uh, we had a big dump in the market and Bitcoin took everything with it, okay? Now let's see what's up with Crowcoin because it was in this uh, ascending triangle and it did have this, you know, this target to the downside. And I told you that it is, uh, it is if it breaks this, it's in a technical target. But normally technical targets take a uh, long time to reach there you know but you see it just took one day to meet it okay because of bitcoin let's all blame bitcoin okay and then usually it does something like this okay see it also found some resistance here because this is what it was supposed to do you know like this this and then come to the technical target but even if it came in one day that's fine Let's see what what it's doing now, okay? Now it needs to, uh, let's draw this line. Draw the Fibonacci's. See, it came below the 0 0.618, but slowly it's trying, to, it came up again. Now, you know, it's coming down again. So if it breaks this again, you know where it's going, it's going to the 0 0.618 level. So this is the level you need to keep an eye on and this level, okay? So if it breaks that, it's coming over there. And uh, now, I mean, there is a lot of panic in the market as we all know, so it can do something like this, okay? And if it holds support and makes, makes a reversal pattern here, then we know it can come up, okay? So we can, let's go in the lower time frame to take a look what's going on. So this is the 15 minute chart. And uh, what is the 15 minute chart saying? Let's go to the 15 minute. Okay, let's hide the EMA. You can see that it's creating higher lows right now. And it's also creating something like this, okay? So it's trying to battle this uh, resistance and support is right over here. I mean, if it breaks to the upside, you know, we have this target. About 0 0.63, same goes for the downside. If it breaks to the downside, 0 0.47 is your target. And, uh, it all depends on Bitcoin now, what Bitcoin is going to do. If it wants to, you know, go up, go down, market confidence can come back and then we can see, but let's see what else is there. Take a look at the RSI. You can see RSI just broke down, it broke this support and went below, but see we are oversold right now. So is the stochastic RSI. So, I mean, if momentum can, pick up you know we might just come back and retest uh, this uh, support over here uh, but yeah overall things are just uh, still in a panicky mode you know and just wait and see you know what what happens we need at least a day to see where the candle closes and then the market can form new patterns and structures but up till now these are your important levels, 0 0.618 and 0 0.786. Now, if in the 15 minute, it breaks this, uh, breaks this symmetrical triangle, then uh, I give you the target. Target was this, breaks to the upside. We're going, uh, you see, come and retest this. What is that? Okay, this uh, a support for the descending triangle. We're gonna come and battle that. And then if it breaks to the downside, coming right at the 0 0.786 level, okay? So keep an eye on that. These are your important levels. And uh, <clears throat> if it goes up, great. Now, if it breaks this resistance and closes the candle above it in the 30 minute, then, you know, it's going up. If it comes down, and uh, closes the candle below in the 30 minutes, then it's coming down, okay? And you can see this 20 moving average, how it's trying to reject every time, it's trying to break. So keep an eye on that as well. But overall, let's see what happens. And uh, hopefully market sentiments can change and it can go back up. <clears throat> but El Salvador did buy Bitcoin at the dip. So that's a good sign. 
and hopefully it goes back up okay guys thank you so much and uh, let me know if it if it's uh, what do you guys think you know if the market sentiments can change by tomorrow or later tonight let me know as well okay bye bye